Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away that stress of everyday life here in Wales with myself, Clive. So um, I've done a couple of seascapes. I thought I'd do a landscape today. So without further ado, let's have a look at the palette and let me explain to you exactly welcome, what I've got. Thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So thank you very much for joining me in the studio. Don't forget to click the, the, the like button, the notification bell. Um, that goes into all your devices. Every time I upload a, a video, you'll get notified. And don't forget to click the subscription button. It's free to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. So don't let that scare you. Just because you sub sub subscribe, subscribe. Just because you subscribe to the channel, which is not easy for me to say. <laughs> just because you subscribe to the channel doesn't mean it's going to cost you anything. All it is that you're going to get notified every time I upload. And these lessons are free. All I ask you to do is just watch the adverts. And that's the way I can get um, a little bit of revenue to help me produce these lessons. I'll explain a bit more about that as we go on. Anyway, so look at the, um, let's have a look at the palette today. So um, I've just got some mid blue, some mid yellow. I got a bit of yellow ochre. Um, I've got a little bit of green that I've mixed and I got a little bit of um, like a pepperminty green that I've mixed. I will show you how to mix greens. Um, if you don't know how to use different colors, different blues and different yellows and things. Um, I'll do a lesson on that again, um, but there are some lessons up there already in the iCards if you want to try them out. Um, I got a little bit of red just in case I need a little bit of splash of colour. I got some white, some burnt umber and some black. And there you go. So what I thought I'd do today, as I said, um, I'm just going to... Oh, let me. I haven't got any uh, of my medium mix out. So this medium mix you can find on the website. Don't forget www.clive5art.co.uk just pop along there and pick up some medium mix um have i got any it's a little bit <laughs> it's not much in there i've emptied it out I, oh well don't worry i'm just going to use plain tap water today <laughs> so there we go yes i forgot to give myself some medium mix doesn't matter it doesn't matter just when you're using just plain tap water don't forget don't use a lot of water because if you use a lot of water it's going to affect the bonds of the paint and it's not what we want so I want a quite a, a dark top to my sky there. I'm going to bring a touch of white to it. There you go. And I'm just crisscrossing, crisscrossing, crisscrossing. Just a bit more white. And we'll just blend that sky in like this. Now I'm working on a little bit of cardboard, as you know, as I normally do. Um, still COVID restrictions are still making it a little bit more uh, complicated for me to get stock. Um, my card is not stuck too well down there let me just put a little bit of tack there you go yeah so yeah i'm still finding it difficult to get what i need to get but but i've got quite used to using cardboard now and and i think as long as the cardboard works then it works so and like i said these are just quick tutorial lessons just for youtube i don't actually sell these paintings or do much with them in fact most of them get painted over anyway so to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter. It's just, it's I just paint in at the moment to, just to de-stress, just to get the stress away, just to get the stress of everyday life away, which is good. I've just come back from holiday, actually. Um, a nice weekend break, um, about for three days, and it was down in West Wales. That's where the inspiration come from for the little holidays and seascape paintings that I've been doing. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's a, it was a nice trip actually. It's a nice trip. Nice trip. It's a little place called Temby down in West Wales. I'll put some pictures up to show you. Um, it's a proper um, fishing town and it's an old Roman um, walled town, in fact. It's, uh, it's, it goes back oh, hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of years. What a wonderful place, in fact. It is. It's a wonderful place. Anyway, I'm going to get a bit of green and a bit of blue because I want to make this quite a blue type of green. I'm just going to block out a little bit of color just like this. I'm 
I've seen some wonderful little um, areas down there. Um, picturesque areas. Really lovely. And I thought to myself, yeah, I'll just see if I can come up with maybe some sort of scene today. I'm just trying to work it out in my mind at the moment to what I can do. So I'm just going to, let me think now, let me think. I might just keep that colour. I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm just going to top, top in some. distant bushes and trees and things very lightly like that there you go put a bit more I don't want I I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing yet, but I thought, well, I'll just well, let's just put these in. If I paint over these, it doesn't matter. But we know they're there. We know they're there. Just just bushes and things like that. There we go. How's that? That's looking pretty good. It's ready. <laughs> I'm going to put a bit more. I'm going to get a little bit of white into this green. I just want to. Let me get some tissue paper. It's a bit too white. There we go. I want to get a little bit of. I get a little bit of a light in there. Actual fact, I think. Yeah, it's a good idea. Actual fact, I think I'll do that. I'm going to get a bit of black, and some of this hook is green. And. I'm just going to fill a few. So you don't have to have all these specific brushes for different things. Just play with the brush you got. Get to know your your brushes and things. So I made that a little bit darker. Darker to that. Because it will make it stand out a bit. And as you know me, if you know me, I don't do a lot of detail. I don't believe in, I don't believe in a lot of detail. One little brush, one little brush, just to give it that edge, just to give it that edge. Let's get some pepperminty green, some yellow ochre. I haven't washed my brush doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is just get a brush in. There like that. Let's get a little bit of yellow. Plonk a bit of yellow in there. Get a bit more yellow. Bringing in the light. I want to get some. I want to make this nice and light. I think. I got a bit of light coming through. Get a little bit of that lighter colour, maybe. Just touching on. There's a few of these little branches, the branches, not branches, and bushes and um, trees and things. Just maybe just lifting a bit of light there. There we go. 
<laughs> let's get some um let's get some blue and some yellow. I wanna make a nice blue yellow. So just add in a blue a blue green, sorry. And I wanna come down maybe maybe a little bit darker than that. Make it a lot bluer. I want a nice blue green coming down. Just like this. A little bit of dark colour then just underneath. Maybe just getting a bit of shadow in there like that. So we can got a we got this roll of grass, haven't we? We've got this roll of grass. I'm just, just gonna check my cameras are all working and recording. Um, because I've been having a few issues with the, the cameras and um, yeah that's another thing see because uh, I get every 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 um, every advert you watch every advert you watch on YouTube whether it's my channel or it's somebody else's channel we get a small amount of money for that and what I do with the money I earn from YouTube is I invest it into new cameras and things and, and it actually takes a lot of time to edit videos it takes longer than you think to edit a video, um, a 20 minute video can take me up, up to an hour to to edit, which is which is quite a long time. It's quite a long time, it really is. So I'm just putting in a few. I'm gonna put a nice dark spot there, like that. There we go. So I'm just gonna wipe that. So I invest my money back into into the channel and that enables me then to to do some free content because it's free if you watch if you subscribe you don't have to pay for anything so um, that's why it's important that um, if you if you can subscribe it helps my channel grow and the more my channel grows the more people are subscribe the 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 more it's advertised throughout YouTube which means that um, more people will get access to the videos and they'll know that I'm I'm doing videos and because there's a lot of people out there that still don't know about the channel although it's nearly over 200,000 at the moment which is not bad not bad I'm not complaining I am not complaining but I'm just adding a little bit more green in let's get some yellow just up there like that. Okay. Now, I want some burnt ember, a little bit of white. Because I want to put a little bit of a path or a walkway or maybe it's even a road maybe. Who knows? Coming down there. Could be just a farm track. Could be just a farm track coming down. Down there like that. Mud. Mud. It's mud. That's what it is. I just decided. It's mud. <laughs> Maybe there's a a track there that a vehicle or something has gone up. Maybe it's a farm vehicle or tractor or something like that. Well, we'll play with that in a second. There we are. We're just building, building, building. Uh, 
So, so far, so good. I think so far, so good. Now, I'm still using one brush. I don't know if you've noticed. So, I'm actually switching over to a different, different brush now because I think it might be a good idea. We can get a bit of this dark color, a bit of black in there. And I got one of these long, long, thin, pointy brushes. It's called a script lining brush. I want to put a I won't get old tree in. Just like that. Maybe it's got a little friend. Have you ever seen one of those trees that have just like snapped off like that and then just grown out to the side? Well, I've seen one of them on my little trip to West Wales. Maybe put a few twiglets in there like that. And just a few little bits and pieces. Like that. In fact, let's make this one just that little bit bigger. There we go. Changing my brush once more. So I've just got this old shabby old brush. It's uh, it was a short flat and it's decided to go all, you know, shabby and I do that sometimes to stress it out. I just poke it down and splay splay it out like that. Splay it out like that. There we go. So just splay it like that. Now I'm just gonna get some of this like pepperminty green. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to it just to make it a little bit more yellow. Load in the brush. I'm just going to tap in some of this color. Thinking about shape and form. Now, what I did see um, when we were there was a couple of wonderful, they were like cherry blossom trees. They were absolutely wonderful color. And there's also, i seen um, <coughs> some trees that were, had, they were the, the leaves were, were, were the green, but the, when, when they turned, when the wind blew, when the wind blew, they went, they would look white underneath. They, they, I don't know what trees they were, I'm, 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 you know, I'm not into trees and things, but they, they were a wonderful, wonderful looking tree. So I thought, yeah, I'm just going to paint something like that in my mind's eye there you go maybe get a bit more focus green I want to put a bit of dark into this tree like this just flicking those little bits of shadow into there because what I thought I would do next can you see this it's like the, the, the shape of these trees were, were really like really nice I, I just I don't know what trees they were this is this is what I'm saying I don't know what trees I really don't know what trees they were but they look very similar to that I think well they do in my mind so, what I also noticed with these trees were, as I said, a little bit of white. I don't want it bright white because it'll look like snow. So I'm going to just mix a little bit of white onto my brush with a bit of that green. Because I want to just bring in some. this white effect that I've seen and I thought that would go quite nicely against the, the colors that I've already got there There you 
you go. <laughs> right, now, going back to my original brush, I want to get some of this yellow. Bit of yellow ochre, bit of white. I'm bringing a bit more. light into this I want to get a bit more blue this blue green Topping up a little bit of this. Blue green. Touch of white sparkling it up. It look like loads of grasses and wonderful things like that. Let's get some peppermint green, some white. Get some yellow. dark color put some shadow let's get some shadow let's get some shadow under there okay now we need to get a our script line actually I'm gonna get a detailing brush I'm gonna get a detailing brush I'm just gonna use my hand now I'm going to put one there. One there. One on a, on a bit of a wonk. Not <laughs> a wonk. Put a bit of a fence going in. Maybe that's broken. I can go to another fence area. There, like that. We get a little bit of this uh, brown and white. Put a bit of light. Catch in there. a bit of maybe a little 
little bit of light just catching those trees. We need now to get some thin black and let's just put a, a bit of shadow there. It's a, like as if maybe a bit of light is just cast in a bit of a shadow with those posts. There's a bit of light catching on these tracks there like that. And get some rocks coming in. <laughs> yes, right, we need to get some grass just shining through. Put a yard blade here and there just to maybe just catching the light. Just to lift. Add the forward just a touch. Get some darker green. A little bit of black. Let's get some. darker ones in there. Bit a bit of red. Let's put a couple of little poppies. Maybe there's a few. the yellow ones there's a few blue ones just drop in just a few it could be I don't know what they could be it could be anything it could be anything just my imagination now we got some daisies then it's always a few, there's always a few daisies there splashing around. There you go. So we've got a farm track. Um, we get this lovely looking tree that's there. Um, we got some, wouldn't be the same without my birds. Flying in the sky. <laughs> I quite like this. This is quite nice. This is quite nice. So, what have we got? We got, um, we can have now maybe just a little bit of shadow. Just a little bit of shadow coming. Just over there like that.
Just adding that in there. I think I'm going to leave it at that because I'll spoil it otherwise. There we are. It's a very quick, quick little landscape painting for you to have a try at. And give it a whirl. You never know. Just go for it sometimes. Don't have any s f set thing in your mind. And just go, I'm going to grab some paint. I'm going to grab some colours. And I'm just going to paint something. And it's about relaxation, really. It's about mental health. I'm all up for mental health. Especially with the year we've had. You know, we should all need to relax. Because I've got my I got my incense sticks burning um, in the background. There you go. i got my incense sticks burning. I normally listen to some nice, calming, relaxing music. But, yes, I'm chilled out for the day now. So thank you very much. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.